Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Nino. It's good to have you join us. Today we'll be cooking jerk pork, and we'll be using the pork belly, better known as bacon. Okay, this is what they use to make bacon. It's, it's, the bacon is cured, but we're gonna use this today to make jerk pork. Now, part of the benefits of using this piece of meat is that it's got a lot of fat that's running through it. And as you know, pork fat rules. And uh, we're gonna be getting this, getting started with this, and uh, we're gonna get our pork belly all washed up, give it a little bath. All right, we're gonna get some water and some vinegar on there, and we're gonna wash her up. All right, so once we've got our, uh, our meat all washed and ready to go, we're gonna uh, put a few incisions in the, um, in the meat itself, and this is gonna allow the seasoning to, to really penetrate uh, the inner part of the meat. All right, so we're gonna get our knife and we're gonna just put, just poke holes, just randomly, just random holes all over, all right? This is just getting it, uh, get it going here. And once we have that, then we're gonna Put it back in our bowl, and we're going to add our seasonings. All right. In this case, we're going to be having two teaspoons, or pardon me, two tablespoons of, of uh, uh, grounded and finely grounded garlic, as well as um, uh, onion powder. Okay, so it's onion powder as well as garlic powder. We're also going to add some some soy sauce to this mix. Right, roughly about two tablespoons. We're gonna add some salt. This is sea salt, by the way. Get some sea salt on there. We're also gonna add some uh, roughly ground peppers. All right. We're gonna add some olive oil to this as well. Okay, just to give it a nice coating. Uh, we have some. Uh, Browning, some Grace Browning. And none of this is sponsored by Grace, by the way, so uh, just to let you know, but it is something that is used quite often in using uh, in preparing jerk, jerk seed, uh, jerk pork, or jerk, jerk chicken. And uh, we're also using our Walker's Wood uh, jerk seasoning, okay? And again, this is another item that is not sponsored. There is no sponsorship involved here. It's just an item that I prefer to use, it's my personal choice. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put roughly about uh, three tablespoons of jerk sauce in the pack. All right. Alongside that, we're gonna have some fresh thyme leaves. Okay, I like to, I like to use the leaves, so I'll just kind of rip the leaves off just to get that going. And I also like to use some rosemary, some fresh rosemary. Get that in there. And last, but certainly not least, we've got, uh, uh, let's just wash this off a bit. We've got a scotch bonnet pepper. Just gonna give it a little rough chop. Have a scotch bonnet. It's got all the heat in the seeds, so. Yeah, watch out there. A little heat, we get a scotch bonnet in there. All right, and so we're all set. Once we get all that in, we just get our hands involved and get a nice little rub going. All that, that seasoning and all the uh, flavors getting to know each other. I just love when I cook and food just start talking to spices and spices to food, question and answer period. It's just a beautiful thing to get it all rubbed in. All right, now what we can do, we can also leave this uh, marinated overnight or for a few hours or whatnot. But in this case, we're just gonna give it a rub, soak it in and we're gonna get it on a tray and into the oven. The oven is actually set at 350 degrees and we're gonna, we're gonna um, roast this for roughly about an hour. It's, it's about a four pound uh, roast and it requires roughly about 30 minutes per, or pardon me, 30 minutes per kilo. So in this case, roughly about 30 minutes for every two pounds, all right? Get that going. All right, we'll just get all the, Excess jerk season, just all over that lovely piece of pork belly. And this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous when this is all done. Okay, so our pork is all seasoned and ready to go into the oven. And the oven 
Again, it's set at 350 degrees and that's gonna be in there roasting roughly for one hour and um, we'll be back to check on it. So we've actually got some uh, scalloped potatoes in the oven that we're gonna be joining our, our jerk pork, or jerk, jerk pork belly once it's all said and done. And uh, one of the things that we're gonna prepare next is some asparagus. So once we get our, our water going, our rolling boil, we have to put some lemon juice in. So I'm squeezing a whole lemon, okay, in the water with the asparagus. As well as once you purchase the asparagus, you'll always notice that there's some, some end pieces. And the end pieces are very chewy and stringy. So you don't wanna get that in on your, your actual finished product. So we're gonna go roughly about a third of the way up, okay? And we're gonna make a cut, take the whole thing off, and this is what we're going to put in the pan, okay? All right, and just to let you know, all these uh, vegetables were pre-washed, okay? They went through a process, so there we go. We're gonna go with the second one, a little cut there, and in the pot we go. Okay, now it'll take roughly about uh, three or four minutes to get cooked. Okay, so once we got our asparagus all cooked, it's, it's roughly about three minutes. We're gonna remove and we're going to remove the asparagus from the pot into a bowl and we have to ensure that we have cold water running and this cold water is going to stop the cooking process and it's going to cool down the asparagus otherwise if you allow it to remain in the pot it's going to be overcooked and it's, you're not going to enjoy your product all right so we get that nice and cool bring the temperature right down, and we're gonna saute that one. Okay, so our uh, pork is halfway cooked. Um, we were looking for ultimately an internal temperature of anywhere between 155 or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so let's take a look at it, check the internal temperature, as well as uh, we're gonna do a little bit of basting to make sure that the product stays nice and moist. It's got a little uh, thermometer, a little internal thermometer here. And it looks like we're up to about 120 degrees. Okay, so we got a little bit, little bit to go. All right, so while we're in here, we're also going to base a product. All right, just give it a little basting. All right, and uh, allow it to cook for maybe another, let's say another 15 minutes or so, and we're all set. So right now, I'm gonna check on my jerk pork because. I think it ready, you know, but I go ahead and check. All right. We're looking for an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. And we're roughly at, let me see, about 120. All right, so we have about 15 minutes to go. All right, so that being said, we're looking forward to the finished product, so stand by. So with the jerk pork rocking in the oven and coming along nicely, I decided to cut up some mangoes and some diced red peppers and some chopped parsley just added to it, which I'm gonna place right on top of the jerk pork as it goes on the plate. And trust me, this is gonna be wicked. It's gonna be wicked. All right, so as our jerk pork gets finished, we're gonna be getting her up. Look at that. Look at the color on that. Lovely, absolutely lovely color. Now that is what you call jerk pork. So we've come to the end of our jerk pork segment. And as you can see, we've got it all set up here. We've got your lovely jerk pork, succulent pork. And we have some uh, sauteed asparagus and some um, scalloped potatoes. And in between that, we've got a little bit of a mango chutney just to kind of cool down the heat of the jerk. That Doesn't that look absolutely lovely? We're gonna go in for the first taste. Put a little bit of jerk pork with a little bit of that chutney. Mm. That is absolutely delightful. So don't forget now, if you like this segment and like to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care until next time.